towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way In the world of track and field, Noah Lyles is a name synonymous with speed, determination, theatrics, and some say arrogance. Along his path to success, he's made enemies, even among his own U.S. countrymen due to controversial comments. Think the NBA. But today we take a detour from the track to explore a topic that has caused ripples off the field. This is the story of Noah's Jamaican girlfriend, Janelle Brumfield, an athlete and Olympian whose love for a man many Jamaicans see as a nemesis. And yes, through actions of the couple, have led to Janelle being seen by many Jamaicans as a traitor. But uh, we, everybody, you know, we're ecstatic, you know. My girlfriend tells me every night, you know, good night, future uh, we're Olympic champions. So, you know, now she gets to say, uh, hopefully we will be saying good uh, night, two-time Olympic champion. Thanks. It is quite evident that the two track stars are in love and pour into each other. All positive attributes of a healthy relationship. What makes this story more intriguing, however, is that Jamaica and the U.S. for decades have had a rivalry in track and field. With Noah being the poster boy for sprinting in the U.S. currently, his relationship with Janelle becomes thrust into the spotlight. They also have been quite public about their relationship through videos and photos all across their social media, as well as through interviews. So where then did things go wrong? Well, since July of this year, 2024, Juno Brumfield has been at the center of a controversy that has divided opinions and sparked debates. This after her famous American partner, Noah Lyles, appeared on a podcast interview in which he spoke about his knowledge of happenings within Jamaica's track and field camps. The interview on Colin Waitsman's Track World News was uploaded on Monday, July 15, and also included American 400-meter runner Noah Williams. Noah Lyles shared how he learned many things about the Jamaican track camps in the last five years through his relationship with Janelle. Here's a short clip from that interview. That they, that they did have, you know. It's funny you say that because, you know, Janelle being Jamaican and having trained in MVP, I've been getting the drama from Jamaica in the camps for at least five years now. Um, there's a lot of times where I make references to Jamaicans. It's not, I'm not saying it because I'm like trying to go back and forth it's because I know information that other people don't. The video went viral and incensed many Jamaicans who berated Lyles for sharing private information that his partner told him in a public domain. Since then, they have also viewed Janelle with suspicion. Accusations soon followed, claiming that Janelle had become a quote, Judas to her homeland, sharing crucial information about Jamaican athletes and their strategies with Noah Lyles. After all, in the world of competitive sports, information is key. Some have said that her allegedly providing such information has potentially given him an edge over Jamaican athletes. This has not gone down well with the Jamaican sports community and fans of track and field. I will this. You know why I win? Because I'm a yard woman. See her then? She's a traitor. She's a traitor. She's a traitor. Don't go back to Jamaica. Don't go back to Jamaica. Among the plethora of comments online are comments such as this quote, Janelle Iscariot or Judas. Still another user quote speaking in Jamaican dialect says quote, She need for Oreo pan get the little green card so she can go run for USA. Cause we no want her over ya. Translation. She needs to hurry and get the green card and go and run for the USA because we do not want her hair. Despite the negative backlash, Janelle indicated to a popular Jamaican newspaper, the Jamaica Observer, in a July 30, 2024 interview that she remains unfazed by the social media backlash, saying, quote, It hasn't affected me at all because I believe that I have gone through so much in my life with my family and everything so the opinions of strangers have no impact on me, end quote. In the end, For the Love of Noah Lyles isn't just a story about athletics. It's a story about trust, loyalty, and the complexities of love in the public eye. As we watch Janelle Bromfield and Noah Lyles chase their dreams, 
We're reminded that behind every great athlete is a human being with hopes, fears, and a heart that beats for more than just the finish line. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Stay tuned for more stories, features, and interviews that go beyond the headlines right here on the Trailblazers with Tamara TV.